So first of all, of course, erstmal, ich weiß noch nicht ganz genau, sollen wir es in Deutsch machen oder in Englisch machen, aber Düsseldorf ist so ein internationales Messen, also werden wir das einfach in Englisch machen. So I'd like to thank you first of all for coming and listening to our invitation for this new 48 footer that we have to present, that we are presenting to the public here for the first time, our world premiere. There's a story attached to everything. There's a story attached to all of you individuals as there is a story attached to this boat and there is a story attached to this company. And the guy, the man who can best tell this story is the guy standing next to me. He's a guy who started, he's the owner, he's a man who started the company together with his brother. I don't know where the brother is, but anyway, together with his brother, the two of them started the company Seaway. And the brand Green Line grew from there as well, such as many other things. But I'm not going to tell the story. I'm only going to present him to you because he's going to be the guy to tell you the story about Green Line, Seaway, but in particular the Green Line 48, our new baby. And we will have to find somebody to cut this ribbon so that you guys can come on board and discover this new baby of ours. We've done it. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you for coming. I'm very happy that you are so numerous. I was told every couple of guys, and now it's uh, so many. Um, uh, of course, you know some of the pieces of the so-called story. Uh, I think we're here to talk about Green Line, and uh, for Green Line, which is divided in two parts, you know, we have the the smaller boats up to 50 feet, which are 33, 40, and now 48, and then we have the ocean class. Uh, the smaller we call C class, and the larger we call uh, Ocean class, which start with the new 57 we're developing now, 70 is existing, and we have 88 in the drawings. Uh, basically, it's the same philosophy, it's the same ideas behind all these boats, but of course, we are now in different market segments, in deep targeting different ge geographical areas of the world, and so on. As you know, the 33 was born in uh, two, end of 2009 uh, based on a couple of premises. We understood that the world is going to change. Uh, we understood, or we thought we understood that in 2007 uh, when we started developing it. And we knew that energy will be scarce. We knew that uh, the comfort of the existing boats is not up to the level of expectations of the customers and that we have to do something uh, about the, uh, our environment, not only talk, but also do something. And uh, our uh, package of putting these three things together was the 33, where we basically wanted to say the statement was about three things. First one is the environment. We wanted to create uh, a boat which has two types of propulsion, slow and fast. Fast is still the usual diesel propulsion and slow and emission free is electric so we had to create a hybrid system then we have uh, an elevated level of comfort on the boat we understood that the boats today are used differently than 30 or 40 years back and uh, we try to use the space on a 33 footer in a different way create more uh, area where people can actually live on the boat and spend and have fun on the boat. So if we want to bring the home comforts to the boat, we have to do different things. We have to bring 220 volts so we can use home appliances, which are uh, a big part of the home comforts. We need enough space for uh, for a boat where which can host not so many people, but in a higher degree of comfort. And then the third thing is efficiency. Efficiency is value, which means that we need to make the boat in a way that the boat will not cost a tremendous lot if we want to address the middle class baby boomers which were the target group so we had to be extremely efficient in designing and engineering the boat and in building it to a high standard but in production uh, system which allows reduction of cost and of course the boat is not not only high value when you buy it it's also high value when you use it so the boat has very low little consumption needs very little uh, uh, maintenance, is very reliable, so the amount of money a user spends per year 
is limited and under control. Uh, we were not expecting anything like the success we met with the uh, 33. I have to thank the dealers among of you because this was made possible by your work. If you did not do your job so splendidly, you would not be here today. I have to stress that. Uh, but based on the success of the 33, which until today we delivered 300 and something, uh, and all in crisis times, 350 in uh, 10, 11, and uh, 12, 13, and we created the 40. The 40 is already based on the experience of 33, so we understood that in order to widen the market, we have to install two engines, we have to create a little more speed potential than on the 33, we have to do certain things to be also attractive for younger families, and so on, uh, which uh, was uh, also quite well accepted on the market. And then we felt the need for a three cabin boat because there of course there one cabin, two cabins. We needed uh, a three cabin boat with a flybridge but which would also be the bridge to the ocean class which is the boat which creates uh, the bridge to the bigger boats and this is the boat which you see here. Uh, in order to do this we had to do again new development of several things. Because the hybrid system we had was too low power, so we had to create new electric uh, motors, new uh, control systems, and uh, fortunately we had Volvo uh, who uh, came aboard as a development partner, so we created a new uh, hybrid system which is attached to the D3 engine. Uh, it's a 15 kilowatt, 1520, 14, 14. 14 kilowatt uh, electric motor which is twice the power per motor of the 33 or 40. So we have, actually we have uh, 28 kilowatts on both, uh, both engines together, which is enough to give seven, seven, maybe seven and a half knots of speed under the electric. And this boat is expected to do uh, with uh, stronger engines up to 24, 25 knots. So we think that uh, the hybrid solution is good uh, for this size of the boat. And it took us a bit of effort and time to do it. We were quite confident that we have that part right. On the functionalities of the boat, we tried to keep the same philosophy from the smaller boats, which means a lot of space, but devoted not to so many people, but to people who have very high uh, demands on the, uh, and expectations on the comfort level. So everything you see here is robust should be practical and should be uh, ergonomical, easy to live on and easy to, to use uh, or stay for a longer time. And uh, if we succeed in the rot, of course, it's not for us to say now we're polarized. Uh, so it will be your judgment, which will... Uh, we sincerely hope that this boat will see the success of the smaller sisters.